Hey, what's up everybody? It is Mr. Boylan and we're back for some more chemistry. In this video, we're going to explain and manipulate chemical quantities using scientific conventions and mathematical procedures, including, and specific to this video, scientific notation. All right, now hopefully scientific notation is something you've heard about before, but if not, fear not, you're going to get pretty comfortable with it in class this year. First thing we're going to do is we're going to convert measurements between standard notation or writing numbers like you're used to and scientific notation. And two, numero dos. We're going to perform mathematical operations involving standard notation and scientific notation. So get numbers into scientific notation and then do some math. I am so excited for this. Okay, so to make very large or very small numbers easier to handle, scientists express them in a form known as scientific notation, which just uses powers of 10 to reduce the number of zeros to a minimum. So as you take a look at your screen, you've got a Google that's running across there, one followed by 100 zeros, but some more common numbers that you will see include things like this. Boom, that's, oh my goodness. Uh, so these numbers here in yellow are numbers in standard notation and in green are those exact same numbers with the exact same value in scientific notation. Whew. So how do we convert between standard notation and scientific notation? Let's take a look at an example. 310,000 liters. Step one can have lots of fun. No, step one is move the decimal point in the quantity expressed in the long form or standard form, right or left until there's only one non-zero digit to the left of it. Okay, so even though I don't have a decimal present here, if I did, it would be boom right there. And in this case, I'm gonna move it to the left until I've got one non-zero digit, in this case, the three to the left of it. Step numero dos. Use the number that results after removing your decimal as the coefficient, which we'll represent with the general letter capital M. So my coefficient here, without those zeros, 3.1. Step three, count the number of decimal places moved and call that number N and use it as the exponent of 10. So let's count away. Here we go. Decimal. There it is. Go in. One, two, three, four, five place values. That is correct. We've gone one, two, three, four, five places. N equals five. Just a quick note though, don't forget that if you are gonna move that decimal to the right, you need to make sure your exponent becomes negative. Step four, your final quantity should be expressed in the form coefficient times 10 to your exponent, AKA scientific notation. Okay, so we come back to that measurement, 310,000 liters. As we put it into scientific notation format, our coefficient 3.1, our exponent five, means this number in scientific notation is 3.1 times 10 to the five. In other words, 10 to the five is like 100,000. 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 is 100,000. 3.1 times 100,000 is essentially what you're doing, but it's a lot quicker simply to write times 10 to the five. Now, you may not think a number like 310,000 is all that more convenient to write in scientific notation, but in chemistry, we're gonna be talking about things like 10 to the 23rd or 10 to the 19th, where you can shorten how you express that number. Now, a couple important things when we're talking about scientific notation and your calculator. Always make sure to enclose each of those quantities in scientific notation in parentheses. That will just really help to make sure your order of operations stays correct. And two, Keep in mind that we're gonna use a method that replaces the times 10 with the letter E. You'll see this in your calculator and you'll also see this in many online tools. So it's gonna be really important that you understand those two things can be interchanged. So when I'm thinking about a number 6.02 times 10 to 23 in scientific notation, 6.02 E23 means the same thing. All right, and that's it. We're finished for this video on scientific notation. As always, check out the info beneath the video for some quick references. Boom!